Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial by Equazor. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this Sharp EL520XT and EL520X uh, scientific calculator to evaluate derig derivative and integral. One thing to clear clarify the beginning is that the result of answer for this uh, question will be a number. This is for definite integral, which has uh, upper and lower bound, and you will get only number. It does not just uh, take the integral without evaluating, give you an equation. So it just gives you a number. Now, let's say you have a question, something like this, sine of 2 pi x over 3, or 2 pi over 3x dx from 0 to pi. We want to evaluate it. First, uh, um, we have to know that the, this angle is in radian and your calculator must be in radian. Now this is in degree, press setup and then zero for that and then one for radian. So we are in radian, that's very important. And then let's do sine of, sine, open a parenthesis, two pi x, opening this big parenthesis and open another parenthesis here. 2 pi x, 2 pi, now enter x, this alpha and x will work, we have x, close the parenthesis, divided by 3, this 3 we are entering it, and then close the second parenthesis, when this is done, now press this button, it says a, a is the lower bound, 0, press equal, b, b is the pi, the upper bound, the same pi, enter, and then press equal sign. This n is number of iteration, integral calculation is uh, used based on Simpson's rule, and that's why it gets an iteration of 100, and 2, 3, and 100 pieces of those, between the bound that you have between a and b. But 100 is good, press equal, it says calculating, it takes a moment, just wait for it, and this is the difference between some calculators in terms of price, how long they keep you waiting, or, or also in terms of complexity of the equation, sometimes it takes longer, so maybe you've never seen your calculator today, so that is the value 0.02 which we got the answer. If you want to evaluate the derivative, this, uh, let's say, is a uh, position of an object and you want to find a velocity at two seconds, at three seconds, and so forth. So the velocity is the derivative of this. So your question will be like this, dy over dx of two of this equation. That means take the derivative and it we will get an equation and then evaluate it with two. So substitute two in that in the derivative and you will get a number. Again, we will get only a number. Let's do it, all clear. So two x squared, two and then alpha x and then for squared plus squared minus three and then alpha x plus two. The equation has been entered d over dx is here, so second function, d over dx. Now it says what is x. So this is our x, 2. And this, again, this value is uh, the dx that they put in the calculation. This is 2 times, ten, two times 10 to the power minus 5 is OK. The answer is 5. It calculated very quick. Now, if you do your own calculation with the derivative, 2 times 2 is 4x, and then minus 3. x minus 3 is 4. Now, if we, if we evaluate 2, 4 times 2 is 2 is 8, minus 3 is 5. Now, let's do this one. This time, just press equal sign. Now, x is 2. Just continue with 3. Your equation is fine. This time, it goes t 3 times. Now, the answer is 9. Equal sign and 4. And here you can put one one times ten to the power 
minus 5 that's also fine that determines the precision the smaller number that you put here the higher the, the precision it will have some deviation this was how to use a derivative and integral using this calculator if you learn something or you like it just thumb up the video a lot of videos for this calculator the link will be provided below the video in the description uh, check that out uh, also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos